Hey everyone, Jerry Venus here and welcome to the second part of this tutorial and today we're gonna create the second shape of beautiful isometric design. So let's start. From the first slide, what you have to do is you have to copy this shape, this base shape and paste it on the second slide. I hope everything is pretty clear till now and it is easy to understand and the next step is to change its rotation and now insert the round, the circle shape and place it here remove its outline apply white color and insert two icons one of person and second the call icon and now these two icons are here we're gonna place this person icon inside this circle shape and we will change its color oops the battery is low okay so let's fix the circle size and align center align middle and now place this call icon here and what we will do is we will create three circles and this time i have also added the text notes as you can see they appear at regular intervals so we have created these three circles this will create a call effect like a call is coming on a cell phone and it is ringing so these three circles are like the effect of some uh, sound effect kind of thing so you have to send these three circles to um, we have to set it to back behind this call icon and now reduce its height and width place it in the center change its color and now you can see it is looking beautiful now duplicate this base shape and we want to create a reflection effect and for that insert this circle and we have to subtract it using the merge shapes option and now go to merge shapes subtract and here you go you get this shape now first of all we have to remove its depth make sure it is zero and then fill the solid color and let's try white color here and we have to play first we have to reduce its transparency so i'm just trying if black looks good here or white first place it here and move these icon and the circle forward i think we should go with the white so yeah it's looking beautiful and better and let's change the call icon to something more dark like this so our design is ready and now what we have to do is we have to change its rotation so that it becomes isometric so you have to press here and it's looking much beautiful now we just have to place these icons at the uh, we have to align it so let's first create the shadow we have to duplicate the person icon and send it to back behind the main icon and now you can see it becomes a shadow uh, alignment needs precision and it takes time so make sure you do it perfectly and otherwise the effect will not look good so we have to move these three items forward bring to front and now you can see the shadow is there and the same thing applies here so you can also use the selection tools to move these items forward or back but i'm using the right click option i just right click on a shape and send it to back so now what we have to do is we have also created a shadow effect for the call icon similarly we have duplicated this icon applied dark color or black increase transparency and send to send it back and you can see our isometric 
second ship is ready and for that you should subscribe to our channel and hit the like button so now let's apply this shadow effect for the overall shape and here you go so it is looking beautiful so this is our next target the third shape that we have to create so this shape is pretty easy it's just a normal chat conversation and for that we have again copied and pasted the base shape and shadow effect and what we have to do is we have to create a call out shape and remove its outline and fill the white color so it's that easy you you can easily do it now we have to pick these three text lines that represents text and paste here so we are reusing the items and it makes the job more easy so now place it here so it looks like some text is written in the call out now align to center align to middle and this call out is ready now we have to duplicate it first select these both items and duplicate it now change its orientation flip horizontally and first select this shape then we have to use the 3d rotation option to change its perspective and place it here i think we should make it much smaller yeah this looks perfectly fine we just have to arrange the placement here and duplicate the call out shape and apply black color and you have guessed it right we are creating the shadow effect so similarly you can create all the callouts and here you go the shape is ready now we just have to apply some button here and for that we have reused the search option from the slide one the search shape the search bar and let's reduce its height and width and here you go our isometric shape is ready now we have to create this fourth isometric shape so this is a kind of video that is being played for that we have again reused the base shape and let's change its orientation and this time we have selected the second option from the 3d rotation option now it's pretty easy we have to duplicate it and we are creating a reflection so it's kind of translucent screen so now we have applied the white color and let's change it to dark increase transparency and now you can see a shadow a reflection is there and now we will create the progress bar of a video and for that we have duplicated the search shape from the slide one and reduce its height and place it here by applying the black color and increase the transparency and now we will insert three icons related to video play and next buttons next and previous reduce this size apply white color and let's play and uh, place them in order but before that we have to reduce its height and width and change the 3d rotation and here you go you can place these icons next to each other and now we duplicate the shape again and change its orientation by choosing the third option place it here when we are creating a shadow and for that we have to fill the gradient color we have to keep it linear only two gradient stops and apply black color on both gradient stops but before that change it to linear and change the angle as well keep it straight and now increase the transparency of the second stop and keep it 100 percent and for the first stop keep it around 70 to 80 percent and now the shape is ready the next step is place them all on one slide with some text and it is looking beautiful now we will create one more thing we will apply a curved shape here to make it more beautiful you have to draw the curve like this by using the curve shape 
and once drawn just connect the start and end point of this curve and it will create a shape now remove its outline apply white color and the next thing that we will do is uh, we will remove the portion that is outside of the slide area by drawing a rectangle and we will subtract it by using the merge shapes option subtract and similarly we will remove the this left portion as well by using the merge shapes and we have to do it one more time so this curve shape is looking beautiful and it is giving more visibility to the text and creating a differentiation between the shapes and the text which is very important from the user's point of view because we, because we want them to focus separately on the shapes and on the text now apply the inward shadow i'm just repeating it again the inward shadow and you can see the kind of depth and now comes the animation so I will tell you a very cool trick about the animation. What you have to do is you have to select all the items on the slide, select float in animation and select start with previous delay of 0.25. And while all the items are selected, we have to deselect four to five items and increase the delay. So here we have deselected five items and increased the delay and we will repeat the same process for all the items. We have to keep on deselecting four to five items. You can also uh, choose to select three items as well. So we have deselected four items again, delay. And we are repeating the same process. We are deselecting the items and increasing the delay. And this will create a very random kind of uh, animation effect. And this is a very cool trick. You, you can apply it anywhere. You just have to try it. Make sure you have lots of items on your slide. Select them all. And keep on deselecting the items and applying the delay. And this works very well with float in and fly in animation. I hope you will use this trick in all of your presentation works so i think the slide is ready and it has this beautiful animation i hope you will like the design and you will support our work and for that what you can do is you can please subscribe to our channel like this video share this video at your social networks and also you can share your thoughts in the comment section you can also join the membership by clicking on the join button so thank you very much. Thanks for being such a lovely audience. You guys are really a great support. So keep watching my videos. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Peace.